Hi guys! So we left off here with our sketch and um, we've already also collected photos from the internet that we can use for this collage and now I'm going to show you how to put it all together. Uh, so I'm going to open up um, my file folder here. All right, so mine's already in my Surrealist Collage folder. Um, if you didn't save yours in a special folder, they might be in downloads, but um, in any case, you want to open up this uh, file browser and navigate to wherever it is you saved your pictures. And we're going to start with whatever is furthest in the background. Um, so the thing that's furthest in the background in mine is going to be the night sky. So I'm going to right click on night sky and click edit with paint 3D. This is going to open it in a new paint 3D window. All right, so now this is my canvas. I'm going to go back to my file folder. And the next, so you always need to start in the back and you're layering things on top uh, because unfortunately in Paint 3D we can't rearrange layers. So you got to start from the, from the furthest in the back and add on top. Um, so my next thing is my neighborhood. So I'm going to right click again, edit with Paint 3D. And this is opening it in a different, in a different window. All right, so now I'm going to click on Magic Select. All right, so I want to select the neighborhood and not the sky. Um, so in this particular situation, I'm not going to reduce the size here because it, um, you know, it's full height, full width. Um, so I've ju I'm just going to click Next. And Paint 3D has done a pretty good job. It took out the sky, um, but I do I want to keep that road. So I'm going to um, I've got add and remove here, so I can um, draw on any area that I want to keep. And let's see if I can get a little more of this lamp post here. There we go, that looks good to me. All right, so now um, this is the area that's selected and the, um, the sky is not selected. Oh, let's see if I can get this uh, street lamp. Nope. So if you make a mistake, it's best to undo rather than remove, right? So you can switch to remove if, um, if Paint 3D has selected more than you need. Um, but you don't want to go back and forth between add and remove uh, because Paint 3D just doesn't do a very good job of it. It kind of gets funky. Um, so if you're having trouble, it's uh, it's generally better to undo and try it again than to uh, to be switching back and forth between add and remove. All right, so I feel like this is the best I'm going to get, so I'm going to leave it here. Oh, you know what? I just noticed. Um, is that? No, never mind. No roof there. Okay, done. Okay. Now I have this separate from the background. I'm going to, so with it selected, right, with this box around it, I'm going to right click, copy. Now I'm going to click on my rainbow drop here and go back to my night sky picture and right click paste. Okay, and depending on the size of your pictures, you, know, you might need to resize things a little bit. All right, so I'm going to put this on this edge here. Um, and then I'm going to adjust the canvas size. So if I click on canvas, I can sneak this in so my pictures fit together. All right, so next I'm going to go back to my file folder here and grab my gorilla. All right, so I'm going to right click, edit with Paint 3D. Here's my gorilla. Now I'm going to magic select. All right, I'm trying to get my gorilla out. I'm going to drag this box so it's as close as possible to my gorilla without um, cutting anything off. And this is just telling Paint 3D this is the thing that I'm trying to separate out. Next. Okay, not bad. We lost part of the face here, so I'm going to use my add pencil and just draw a line through. So you don't want to outline the thing that you're you're trying to get, you just want to draw a line through it. 
Okay, that looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to click Done. Right-click, Copy. Right, again, it's selected. I right-click it while it's selected. Copy. I'm going to come over here. Right-click, Paste. Okay, I can adjust the size. Hmm. What do I, maybe I want to put it on the roof. Let's put it a little further back. So I'm just trying to find a place where he really works. Turn him slightly, right? So I've got this that I can use to adjust the angle. All right, that seems pretty good. And I think I might add another giant, giant gorilla, maybe further in the distance. All right, so I'm going to make him smaller, um, and maybe I'll flip his direction so he doesn't look so much like exactly the same gorilla. And let's put him way down here. All right, now let's grab that helicopter. Right click, edit with Paint 3D. Magic select. Next. I'm gonna try and get those propellers in. Nope, not going to do it. There we go. So I use the remove to get rid of this part. Let's see if I can get a little more of these propellers in. Right, and it's it, it is a little difficult to select when, you know, the the propellers because they're moving so fast they really don't look that different from the background. So Paint 3D is having a little bit of a hard time figuring it out. Let's put it there. Let's see if I can get this one. There we go. All right. I think that's the best we're gonna do. Click done. Right click copy. Right click paste. Whoa. That one I'm facing the other way. Maybe at an angle. Just my canvas now, right? Because that helicopter picture was so big, it made my canvas real big. I can adjust it back. All right, there we go. Um, so, just a reminder here. 
um, what I'm looking for in this project, you need um, at least five different um, elements collaged together, right? So in this example, I've got the night sky, the neighborhood, two gorillas, and a helicopter. Uh, that makes five, so that's sufficient. Um, you also need a surrealist subject. Obviously, this is a weird thing happening. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and the last thing is that I need you to show some space, right? So that's what I did with the with the smaller gorilla, um, showing that things are off into the distance. Um, size is the number one way to show that. Um, you also might want to consider adjusting the color of your objects to be lighter or bluer, depending on how far away they are. Um, and let me quickly quickly show you how to do that. Um, so, do do do. Um, let's say, let's say I want to add another helicopter. Um, okay, so if I go to effects, um, lavender is probably the best for making things lighter, um, which is lighter and bluer, which is what we're looking for for something far away. Um, you, another thing that you could do if you need something more than that, because I know it's a little slight, um, what I do sometimes is using the 2D shapes. All right, so I draw a 2D shape over the object. Um, I'm going to make the fill a light blue, and then here in sticker opacity, I can adjust it to, for a strength, right? So I can make it, make it a lighter blue there. All right, so I can now I can magic select it again in its lighter color, and then I'll put this one further away. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about the propellers here. I'm just gonna just gonna get it done. All right, right click, copy. I'm gonna come back over here. Right click, paste. And again, it's very big for my very small helicopter. There you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this project. See you later.